thought about a 40 year recertification process that the building was undergoing at the time it collapsed. And as part of that, questions have also been raised about whether all buildings in the state of Florida are subject to similar types of inspections. And tonight, our McKenna King is taking a closer look at all of this, digging into Florida's inspection law and what large buildings are now subject to across the state. Let's take you back 40 years. 1981 in Cocoa Beach, Florida. A condo complex nearly complete collapsed due to design errors, killing 11 and injuring nearly two dozen. In the wake of that collapse, Florida lawmakers passed the threshold inspection law, subjecting newly constructed threshold buildings to stricter inspections. Today, any building greater than three stories or 50 feet or which has an occupancy classification exceeding 5,000 square feet and 500 people must follow the threshold inspection law. The intention behind them was to create an extra uh, set of inspections done by an independent third party to ensure that the field conditions uh, met or were in compliance with the construction documents that had been reviewed and approved. Nick Bradford is a structural engineer in Tampa. He explains that the threshold inspection law is strictly for the building process. Once you get beyond that point where everything's built, the, the threshold or special inspection laws don't really extend beyond that point. In Miami-Dade and Broward counties, local governments require 40-year recertification inspections, but that isn't the case in the rest of the state. Inspections are typically left up to the owner's discretion. I typically get called when, when someone says, I had to have a chunk, chunk of concrete f fell off my balcony, or I had a handrail that, that, that's got all sorts of corrosion staining around it, or something failed, and so they react with an inspection and an assessment and some sort of repair. Bradford says the system is more reactive than proactive and oftentimes insurance companies prompt the inspections. The insurance folks come along and they say, well, you know, we won't insure your building unless you do updates. But in his level of knowledge and years of practice, Bradford says the system we've got going typically works well and catastrophic events are nearly unheard of. It's extremely rare for us to go in and say, okay, this, we've got a collapse level uh, problem or we've got a global level problem that is more than sort of a local, localized concern. Much of that can be credited to maintenance and upkeep as a building remains occupied. McKenna King, ABC Action News.